Again, if you're just joining us now, we are following what is a shelter in place for those who live inside the Four Seasons Hotel. Also, there is a perimeter outside of it out of abundance of caution to keep people safe. Yeah, Atlanta police responded to initially a call of a person who is armed at the Four Seasons building there in Midtown, as you mentioned, and police have issued that shelter in place as a result. And, and the footprint has been expanding as this coverage has been continuing. Well, let's go to Joshua Skinner. Joshua, you were on the scene, one of the first reporters to be there, and you heard what sounded like a rapid series of either explosions or gunfire. Was it coming from that facility, the Four Seasons Hotel? Uh, Sean, yes, uh, we were the, the, the first crew here. We were here long before uh, pretty much the, all the police weren't even here, but we got here because our studio, I mean, it's right down the street. So when we heard about it, we got here in a very quick fashion. We were actually here for a while before we heard any kind of gunfire. We saw SWAT show up. We saw them load up. We saw them go into the building. The police were letting us right across the street, you know, 15 feet away from the Four Seasons before uh and then they started slowly moving us back we started hearing the gunfire and then the perimeter slowly expanded we'll show you real quick what we're looking at here now as you can see all of this tape you can actually see the tape from the different some of the different perimeters that's just two of them right now there was another one that was further down originally but we were down uh at the end uh, of 14th street uh, at the corner near the four seasons and i think we have some video here guys i don't know if we can toss to it uh we were down there when all of a sudden i mean it just gunfire started all over the place above us it was very very loud people were ducking people were running it was a very intense sequence for a little bit and it was so loud and it was bad the sound was bouncing off buildings it was hard to tell where it was coming from but it was definitely coming from up high we saw a lot of swat officers then come our direction go up into multiple different buildings with large caliber caliber rifles uh and uh for about 15 minutes there uh there was quite a bit of gunfire it has slowed down since then we haven't heard anything probably now in about 15 or 20 minutes but we still hear more and more sirens coming through in fact it seems like each time we come back for another one of these live hits more sirens and more vehicles are coming and flying by uh, police do want people to know they told us to let people know to avoid this area of peachtree street 14th street uh, as much as possible because again lots of police presence we're actually seeing even more people being diverted now as traffic seems to be uh, kind of clogged up in certain areas but guys uh, a very active situation still here um, right now but again for a while there we were underneath it and it sounded like the gunfire was going on almost like right in our ears it was so loud there for a minute guys and you can see some more of these police officers coming up here yeah, and we've been seeing that sense of urgency from exactly where you're at, Josh. And I know as the Atlanta police are kind of repositioning there is what it looks like. Um, that sense of urgency, they were moving you out of the way as you were describing what was unfolding there at the Four Seasons. Let's go to Carly Barnett. Carly, you're inside the First Alert Breaking News Center. Uh,